Hello everyone! I'm going to show you how to code your own pixel pet portraits. You don't need to know anything about computer programming to do this activity. What we're going to do is start out with a template and um, fill in this template with some just some basic coding um, to create the colors in our pixel art. Um, so you can just follow along with this video to make uh, your own pixel art. The, what you'll want to do to start with is download this template. So if you follow the link below this video for the 10 by 10 grid uh, template, you should see this page open up and you see the file is called 10 by 10txt So it's a text file, but it's, it's filled with HTML code and that's what we're going to edit. And in order to edit it, we want to save it onto our computer. So you can hit Control S and save it somewhere on your computer that's easy to find. So I'm going to save it onto um, the desktop on this computer. So I hit save and then I um, am going to open it up and I want to open it up in a, a text editor so it'll automatically open up, up on, on Notepad on this computer but it, like if you're on a, a Mac you can use the program called text editor. You just want to use something really simple. You don't need to use like Microsoft Word or anything. We just want to have a very simple text editor. And so we see here, um, you know, all of the HTML code that this template has. Um, and it might look kind of intimidating um, if you don't really know anything about um, programming or HTML. But we don't have to worry ourselves with every single detail. Um, you know, we're kind of just getting introduced uh, to, you know, some of these uh, ideas. But we can kind of read through it and, and try to understand what's going on. Um, so in this document, there's um, the body here, you'll see. And within the body of this document, we have um, all of these rows of something called pixel in quotation. And so these are going to be the rows of, um, you know, squares that are gonna, we're going to use to create our pixel art. And um, this pixel is defined up here, and so it says it's got a width of 30, and that PX stands for pixels, a height of 30 pixels, and um, you know it's got a, a one pixel shadow, and, and this here determines the color of the shadow. Um, and then there's also this up here is called the canvas, and so that's like all of the um, you know squares all the, the pixels together, and so that's 300 pixels by 300 pixels, which makes sense because 30 times 10 is 300. Um, so, you know, j that'll kind of get us started. And what we're going to end up doing is, is after here, after it defines, or after it, you know, has each, you know, pixel for each row, um, we're going to add in a little bit of code, and we'll just kind of copy and paste it back and forth that'll tell the program what color that pixel should be. So that's what we're going to do. Um, so to get an idea of what this looks like, you know, when, when it's um, viewed on like a web browser like Google Chrome, we can um, hit Save As and go ahead and save it as a... Um, here, we're going to do this. We're going to say Save As All Files. And instead of a TXT file, a text file, we're going to save it as HTML, and I'm going to hit save, and then I will um, take this file over here and I'm going to drag it over to Google Chrome. And so now Google Chrome is displaying our HTML file. So that's what it looks like just without adding any of our own colors. Um, okay, so at this point, now that we kind of have a basic grasp on what's going on, we want to probably make a plan for. Um, what colors we're going to use in this document. And to do that, there's another link below this video for an image of a 10 by 10 grid. And if you want, you can print this out and then kind of color in the squares um, with your plan of how you're going to, uh, you know, program your pixel art. And you can print this out and then, um, you know, you could look at your pet or take a picture of your pet and then use that as kind of your inspiration. So like I've got a picture of my dog Ruby and I'm going to, um, well I've actually already made a plan 
um, based on this image to kind of sh show me where I need to put which color in, in this uh, grid. It's definitely helpful to have a plan, so I would go ahead and do that. Okay, so once you've got a plan, um, if you did it on a piece of paper, that's great. Um, then you, what you wanna do is figure out the HTML um, code for each of the colors that you're gonna need. And what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna go over here to file and create a new window. I'm just gonna shrink it down a little bit. And I am going to um, put all my colors on this other window and then I can just copy them back and forth between the, um, the template and my notes over here. So I know that the colors that I need, let me see, I need blue. I'm gonna use blue for the background. Brown, I'm gonna find, find a dark brown color. Black and gray. And so then I'm going to come over here and then there's another link below this video for an HTML color picker. And that's this right here. And so what this does is it allows you to, you know, pick out the color that you're gonna use in your art. And then the code is going to look like this. It's going to be the pound sign and then six characters. It might be a combination of letters and numbers. And so the first color I need, I was gonna look for like a light blue color. So let me see, I think that this one right here will be good. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit Control C and copy that over here. And now before I paste in the code for that color, I am going to um, type that the actual you know, code that we'll put before the color to, to tell the program how to display um, the color of the pixel. And that is going to look like this. So it'll be style equals background hyphen color colon and then paste your color. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and copy that down for the rest of these. And since this process is gonna be pretty repetitive, it'll help us to have it all um, you know, already typed up and we can just copy paste back and forth. That way we don't make any little errors um, in misspellings and things because um, obviously that will stop our program from running. Um, so I think that for the other brown, I think this is a pretty good brown. I'll copy that over here. And I need a dark brown. I think that one's pretty good. And you can pick out as many colors as you want. Um, it might be a little bit more complicated if you have like a lot of different colors, but it's totally up to you what um, number of colors you wanna use. And then a gray. Let's see, I think that this is a good gray. Okay, so I've got my colors ready. Let me pull up the 10 by 10 template. And so now what I'll do, um, you know, I'm just looking at my, my paper plan that I made and I know that the first square in the, the top left, that's how it works. So this row one is at the very top and then it goes from left to right. So it starts the left and then it goes across like that. So I know that my first square is going to be this brown color. And so right after this, you know, it says pixel in quotations. After that quotation, the end quotation mark, I'm gonna put a space and then I'm gonna paste that whole, this whole line, um, you know, style equals background hyphen color colon, and then the code for the color, for the color. Um, okay, so I'm gonna do two of those. Oops, you see, I already made a small mistake. You just kinda wanna be a little bit careful, but the uh, undo button will be your friend.
And so here it just gets pretty repetitive. Um, you know, you just wanna be careful, follow your plan and not accidentally, um, you know, misspell anything or type in a bunch of extra letters or delete stuff like I just did a second ago. Um, and you should be good. Okay, so I got one row done and I'm just gonna keep going through this. Okay, so I've made it through all 10 rows and at this point it's good to just kind of scroll through and see if you notice any mistakes like maybe you accidentally deleted one of the quotation marks or you know it's in the wrong space or anything else. They, they might stand out the, any mistakes because um, you know it all kind of follows a pattern. Um, so I'm just gonna scroll through here. Oh, I see something, there's an extra space here I believe oops I just want to delete that space right there okay that should be normal okay I think everything looks all right so what I want to do now is I want to see my pixel art so um, go ahead and hit save and you want to make sure you save it as a you know HTML file and it looks like I already did so now I will go back in and grab this file and this should be the file right here. I'm gonna drag it over into Google Chrome and there it is. There's my pixel art. Um, so I didn't do a ton of detail, you know, obviously most of it is, is one single color, um, but I just kind of wanted to demonstrate. You know, you can be totally creative and do, um, you know, any number of things for your own pixel art. Um, you might realize that it's hard to get much detail, like I didn't really do justice to the kind of stripe that uh, Ruby the dog has on, on her head, but um, yeah, you can play around with it. Um, and if you want to get really adventurous, you can try out the 25 by 25 grid. Obviously that'll be a, a lot more time intensive, um, but you can get a lot greater degree of detail. Well, I hope that you enjoyed going through this process. Maybe it wanted, it made you want to um, go back and learn more about uh, programming or HTML. Um, you know, what we did was pretty straightforward. We didn't really do any terribly complicated programming. We really just, for each of these pixels, we said that, okay, that style is gonna be the background color and then set the background co color for 100 different uh, pixels or squares. So not too complicated, but uh, maybe it also made you think about the level of detail and um, you know the the way that you have to pay attention to um, you know small little things like extra spaces and uh, quotation marks. Um, you know you might might when you open up your file you might notice some mistakes and and that's what I would do if you notice something that looks wrong is I would go through here and just scroll scan each line and see if there's anything that looks out of the ordinary or looks di different from um, what I've got right here. Well, I hope this tutorial was um, helpful and fun. Um, thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.